Hello, welcome to Math 10 Online, where we'll be talking about whole numbers, fractions, decimals, operations, and even some math study skills and how to get past math anxiety. So this is a quick video just to tell you how the class works and get you started. Um, you'll notice our Moodle course, it looks a little different if you've taken online classes before. That's just so that you can navigate really quickly to the information in the class. So as soon as you log on, you'll always see this up at the top, this list of topics. And right now there's only a couple available. General information will always be here and it's going to have the news forum where I make announcements, information on where and how to take our exams, a late ticket forum, you'll read about that today or whenever you start reading about the class, our up-to-date assignment schedule, a link to where we do our homework, this is a link to Lane's computer help desk so they can help you get through any problems you have with Moodle or your homework and then um, a copy of all of the policies that we have for our class. And I may add a couple of things in there as we go through the term that I think will be helpful and I'll let you know about that as I do add them. So you always have that, you'll always start at this page and then you can either get to where you're going by clicking on what you're working on. So today, probably click on start here, orientation, and get started. Or you can over here search for an assignment that's coming up. So I could search for place value videos. Oh, there it is. And that'll take me directly to that assignment. At any time, you can always scroll up to the top and find this list of contents and then navigate. So I can always go to my course tools as well. And down here you see, oh, I've got the grade book, so I can see how I'm doing in, in the class. Participants, that's going to list everybody in the class, so if you had a question for me or another classmate, you could use that to contact them. And it's going to have a calendar, which tells you when you have things due. You can click on things by day and see what's coming up. Um, help and support, all listed down there. News, if you have any messages waiting from anybody from me, they'll be down here. And then always at, down at the bottom, you'll see me. There's me hiding behind a coffee cup. You can click on my name and send me a message. So if you're lost, you need help, you just want to check in, click on that, send me a message, and I will be available uh, to help you. Usually it takes me, you know, it may take me 24 or 48 hours during the week to get back to you. Um, but I will get back to you. If you haven't heard from me in a day, feel free to write back and say, hey, I'm still waiting to hear from you. And that's fine. I don't feel hassled or harassed or anything. I'd love to hear from you. I want to know if something's going wrong. So for today, where you're going to start is start here, orientation. And you'll see all of your assignments uh, listed here. And you just work through them in order. As you complete them, you'll see these little exclamation points will change from exclamation points to little stars. And that means that it's been completed. For every assignment in this class, when you click on it, you're going to see a really clear discussion of what we're doing. So you're going to see the name of the assignment, what you're supposed to learn from it, an approximate amount of time to complete it. Now, these are approximate. It's going to take some of us a little longer and some of us a little less time, depending on the assignment. So notice that if it says 20 minutes and it's always taking you 30, well, you can kind of adjust your calculations as you go through. Uh, how many points there are possible, what are the categories that I'll grade this, and you'll learn about those categories as you're reading the syllabus today. And then a deadline for completion. So you'll notice that this one I'm suggesting it's completed by 11.55 p.m. on Wednesday night. Our deadlines will always be late at night. They'll be, you know, as close to midnight as I can push them. So if it says Wednesday night, it means the end of Wednesday night, 11.55 or so. Most of our math assignments have suggested deadlines, which means you can finish them a day early or a day late and it's okay, but uh, keeping close to the schedule will keep you on track to take the quizzes and exams on time. And then every assignment will have clear instructions to follow, and at the bottom you'll see how will I know when I've completed this. That'll tell you what you need to do to make that exclamation point change to a check mark to show you that, okay, I've completed this assignment, I can move on. So again, you'll see that on every assignment that we do. You can always scroll up to the top and click on the name of our class to go back to the main page if you get lost. 
And the other feature of this main page, you can see your progress through each part. So there are nine assignments, for instance, in the whole numbers category. There are four in orientation. And as you go through, you'll see that that number starts to change. And it gives you a good way to keep track of what's going on in the class. So the place to start today is on this orientation page. You've already watched the video. Your next assignment is this introductions form. So click into it, read the directions, get started there. And then you have a short reading about the place we'll be doing our homework, Khan Academy. Um, another reading that will take you through how to create your account on Khan Academy. And I need you to do that as soon as possible by Wednesday night, if at all possible. Um, I need to see activity from everyone this week so that I know everyone is here and enrolled in the class. Um, otherwise, I'll start dropping people Friday afternoon so we can let people in off our big, long waiting list. And then this syllabus quiz I'd like everybody to take before the end of the day on Wednesday, just so I know that you know what you're getting into this term and that you're clear on all of our class policies. When you take this quiz, you can use the syllabus itself, which is back in this general information section. You can print it out or keep it open in another window and use it to take that quiz and make sure you get everything all correct. Now, we don't have a textbook for this class. We'll just be using the Khan Academy online to do our lectures and assignments. So, yay, you don't have to buy a book yet. Um, you probably will have to buy one for your next math class. But for this one, we're just using open resources. As soon as you finish the syllabus quiz and you've passed it, and you can take it as many times as you want to make sure you pass it, then the next section will be available, and that's all of our assignments for the first unit. And you just work through these in order. When you click on their name, you get the full explanation of what you're doing, links to the assignments themselves, and down here we'll let you know the deadline and what all I'm grading on. Okay, so that is a very quick overview of where we're going. You're going to get lots more information on all of this today as you start reading the syllabus and looking at the assignment schedule online. And of course, at any time, if you have questions or want to talk to me or just want to check in, then contact me. Use the course tools down at the bottom. Send me a message. Email me. Um, I would love to hear from you. Good luck this week, and... I look forward to seeing your work starting to come in.